All right, so what we're going to do here, what we're going to do here is um, I'm going to go over quickly all my, all my rounds. All right, it's going to take, we're going to be here for a few hours, right? I'm going to go over the, all my rounds. I'm going to go really fast for most of it, all right? So um, if you're interested in that, that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is the first vintage draft cube. Um, I'm going to mute myself because you don't need to hear that. I'll be, listen to me, not this guy behind me. This guy behind me is a Looney, Looney Tune. We don't want to deal with him. All right, let's watch. We're watching on, on really fast speed here. Guy behind me looks pretty shady. I agree. All right. So first pick, we, first pick is Black Lotus. Second pick, I'm like, okay, well, I can storm it up if I take Bolas' Citadel, right? So I could do that. Yeah, I didn't miss Jace until like day two, though. Yeah, but I could have gone like Black Lotus, Grim Monolith, but also Citadel and done something with myself, right? Instead, here we are. Um, my favorite things that my favorite things to draft in like the fight, I, I drafted like eight times, right? Um, Karn? Yeah, did did I miss a Karn? Oh, seven mana Karn? I missed seven mana Karn over here. Okay, yeah, I missed that seven mana Karn. I don't think seven mana card is very good, so I don't mind missing it. I don't mind passing it. Maybe I'm a goose that I, I don't know anything about it. No, I don't know. This is the first draft, not the day two draft. Yeah, so, so here I should have taken... Yeah, here I needed to take... Um, here I needed to take Jace instead of the Scrim Monolith. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Um, yeah, that that was really bad that I didn't take the Jace. You can't handle the MJ behind MJ, dude. That guy's a, that guy's a Looney Tune. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. Focus on me, not this guy behind me. Was this my second draft? No, this is my first draft. I have Black Lotus. Okay, yeah, yeah. this is my first draft. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just taking um. When I see this Thalia, so like, so yeah, I don't like Signets. I think Signets are bad. And um, my favorite things to do when, my favorite things to do are basically like blue red control or like mono white or mono red. And those are kind of the things I was looking for. I was basically not, I was basically not looking to do anything else. Um, so. Yeah, I, I, I think Signets are garbage. Um. But yeah, so uh, I, I did a list and like Thalia was basically the number one card that you want to see. And if like I got a really late Thalia, I'm like, okay, well, if I got a really late Thalia, that means mo nobody's model white. And I can draft model white. That's easy. So let's do that. Um, it kind of sucks that my Grimonolith didn't work out. I could have had Jason instead of that. It would have been way better. But. And then uh, the Bolsa Citadel came back, which is like, gosh, darn it. <laughs> I could have had a Storm, but I've never drafted Storm. I don't know what I'm doing. So I got Recruit of the Guard. I think Recruit of the Guard is better than like a Blue White Dual Lands. So is like it Searches for Thalia, Searches for Sower. You would have gone Soulfire? Yeah, if I get Time Walk. Yeah, obviously. Obviously, it was better for me to get Time Walk. I should have taken Soulfire, Grandmaster, over Balls of Citadel. Yeah, obviously. I thought I might have gone, like, White Black Garbage. Um, and just have, like, play the Grim Monolith, play the Balls of Citadel, play the Black Lotus, and maybe, like, be White Black Midrange Garbage. It's like, you need, like, Thought Season titles, Scholars, and stuff. So that's why I did it, but it was a bad idea. I'd never seen, um, I'd never seen Soulfire, Grandmaster, and Time Walk, so I wasn't intimately familiar with how it works. But I ended up opening up Time Walk, and I knew from the pack that I was going to table Relic Order or Geist of Saint Traft. 
So that pack was gonna be really good for me. Um, so after I first after I took the Snapcaster Mage, I'm like I can Snapcaster Mage time walk. But I think I think Teferi is just like such. I think Teferi was like such an insane card, and I th I thought Snapcaster was kind of medium, like Snapcaster Tithe, Snapcaster Path, and Snapcaster Time Walk were like Snapcaster Ravages were obviously not. But I thought Three Fairy was better. So, yeah, I thought I would actually table... I actually was counting the pack, and I was like, like, I actually might table Snapcaster here. If I don't table Snapcaster, I'll at least get Season Hot All Blade, which is like, okay, sure. I need a two-drop anyway. Um, and then here, I'm like, okay, well, there's really nothing for me here, so I'll just take the... I'll take the Winds of Teeth, which can find Hollowed Fountain, so... Uh, here, I'm like, yeah, there's really nothing for- I don't actually like the Vanishing Light effects at all. I think they're kind of medium. And so, like, the pick here, I think, is just Scrubland. But I didn't really- I didn't want to play Days, and I didn't want to play Vanishing Light. I think those cards are medium. Medium to medium minus, so. I just took the Dual Land to open myself out to be black, potentially. Because I thought Bolsa Zero was powerful enough that maybe I splash for it. I have enough gold to... Because uh, I already have two dual lands, right? And if I get a couple more fetches, I can just splash for the triple black card. No big deal. I love Frost Titan. I think Frost Titan is way better than Gideon. It's like, Gideon, Frost Titan is like one of my favorite cards in cube, and I actually have a Lotus. And, and I was thinking that I would actually like, okay, now I have another six drop for the Grim Monolith to take it out, right? So... Like, like turn three, turn three Frost Titan is so freaking good. I could even turn two, and if I have Lotus, if I have Lotus Bringer Monolith, right? Uh, here we've got like, okay, I can splash black, right? If I'm gonna splash black, do I want Anguish Unmaking, Ophiomancer, or Midnight Reaper? Because I, I think Brainstorm is kind of medium. Like, unless you have Fetch Lands, Brainstorm I think is just a medium card. So. Then here, uh, I end up taking the Vernon Catacombs because I, I, I think these swords are really bad. Like, obviously, I could get a Stoneforge Mystic later on, but I, I, especially when you have Thalia, Thalia and Ravagers of War, like, I, 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 don't, I don't like the swords at all. I think I'd rather just have perfect mana. So, like, this, this Vernon Catacombs can find Scrub Land or Underground Sea, so it's a blue white dual land. And then here we've got Geist of St. Trout versus Marsh Flats versus Relic Order. This is actually kind of a tough pick. There's also Balance. Um, I think the Recruiter of the Guard makes it, so I think Relic Order is probably a higher priority pick. Geist of St. Trout is kind of a whatever duder. I think having, having a Disenchant effect that I can tutor for, I think, is super important. And we got the season hollow blade back. We didn't get the snapcaster mage. And this is just hate drafting. I don't know which one to hate draft more. Probably should have hate drafted Elish Norn, to be honest. But... Then we got here. I'm just like, okay, well, I'm just going to table this Legion's Landing, right? So, like, I could take anything else. I could take Jete and just table. Nobody's going to. I know I'm the only white drafter at the table, and I know I can table this Legion's Landing, right? So. I don't like Mutable in a three-color deck. But with double blue, potentially triple black, and double white, I didn't want to have a Mutable anyways. Baleful Strix was a possibility. I could have easily taken that. Because I have the mana for it. Hey, Jan Peters, 867. Thanks. And here it's like, okay, let's make our mana... Let's just make our mana perfect. Because we have enough playables almost. We're going to table a bunch of stuff. Um, here it's like Creeping Tar Pit, Inquisition, Crucible. We don't have anything for Crucible, so it's like Gideon Blackblade. Blade. 
Union Black Lawyer is garbage. I got it in both my decks and I never did anything. It's a really bad card. I thought maybe I can like turn one it, but like Hero Blade Hole is just like, it's one of my favorite cards in cube. Hero Blade Hole's hit is just so insane. And obviously with Black Lotus, you can turn one it and like turn one Hero Blade Hole hits for like seven and then nine, right? And if you play any creature on turn two, that's like, it's a turn three kill. So. It hits for seven and then it hits for 11, so that's 18. So if you do literally two damage to them, they're dead. Um, I don't like Giver Ruins. I think it's trash. I I don't even think it's good in I don't even think it's good in my modern deck. So I think one of my I think one of the biggest innovations I had was the fact that I other people ran four Giver Ruins in my in the modern deck, and I ran like one. Because <laughs> I think I think I think one of the most over probably one of the most overrated cards in modern is that Giver Ruins. I think it's like barely playable. If I did, if I didn't have energy Revios, I wouldn't play it at all in that deck. I use it mostly as a two jogger for a single pit for healing on to be able to attack. So here it's like Spellseeker. I can Spellseeker for Time Walk, or I can Fall on Shinobi. Um, and I'm like, okay, Fall on Shinobi is pretty OP. I didn't, I actually didn't know the Ninja Chief was four, and I'm like, okay, let's live the dream, right? Let's like go turn one, dude. Turn to Lotus, attack with Fallen Shinobi. Let's do that. Graven Inspector, respectable one drop. It works with Referi really well to get like more cards. Student of Warfare, huge pickup here. Really needed a hard hitting one drop. Table of Legions landing. Here is like land tax or double spirit. I don't think land tax is very good. So I just took the Selfless Spirit. And there's like Creeping Tar Pit or Corpse Stance or just whatever. I might have needed it. So I got the Felidar Retreat on the way back. I know somebody in chat was saying that I should have taken him the first time. That card, that card usually tables. Took the Pester Might. Might end up playing it. And then I'm like... At this point, that's why I highlighted Fallen Shinobi. I just wanted to live the dream, right? I wanted to like, oh man, what if I attack with Silverblade Paladin and another creature that I'm bonded to, they block the Silverblade Paladin, and then the creature that I'm bonded to, I ninjutsu, and then Fallen Shinobi comes into play, and it gets double strike from the bond from Silverblade Paladin, and I get hit for 10, and I get four cards I can play for free. Let's live the dream. Let's do it. And and then I'm like, after the words, when I was building my deck, I ended up like, holy crap, I have Thief of Sanity. I can Thief of Sanity Silverblade Paladin too. Let's do that. So here I'm considering, is it worth a splashing for Bolasa Citadel? Because I have three black dual lands and, and, two, uh, and two fetches. And I have a creeping target, so I could have four black dual lands and two fetches. And I have black lotus, right? So I I could splash a bolus of Silla, which is a weird thing to say. But yeah, this was a solid deck. Were you happy with not playing the tar pit? Yeah, because I have so many double whites. I didn't really want it. I mean, look how many double whites I have. I've got, and I got a bunch of white one drops. So like, I have a bunch of white one drops and a bunch of double whites, and like, it wasn't really a turn that I really wanted to play out of, like maybe turn four. But do I think Jitte is safe for modern? No. Thanks, Jim Funks. I'll get to all the subs after this. But yeah, this is like, that, that's what I was doing. I ended up not splashing black for Bolas Citadel, which is a weird thing to say. Um, but here I'm just like calculating my mana. I'm like, okay, how do I want to do this? What does the mana actually look like once I start at, once I don't have all these dual lands to look at? Did the, the, the dual lands were blinding my eyes. I'm like, ooh, I can play whatever I want. 
Like, okay, wait, let's just put the basics in to make sure that we can actually do whatever we want. Okay, all right. And 16 lands because we have Black Lotus and Legion's Landing and, and Thraven Inspector and Teferi and Time Walk, which is also a cycler. We don't really have anything that costs more than four. We have one Frost Titan, so. Um, but yeah, like I was looking at my two drops. I'm like, this is way too many two drops. I don't need this. Let's like have some more power. And I, and I was talking about the dream with, with Fallen Shinobi and Thief of Sanity. But yeah, this is, this is what I ended up playing. Yeah, so that was the deck. 